In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on November 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Pittsburgh Penguins The Vegas Golden Knights embarked on an impressive journey at the onset of the current season, showcasing near perfection in the first few weeks. While recent performances have not maintained that flawless record, the Golden Knights remain a formidable force in the league, boasting an unparalleled depth of talent. In the upcoming clash, they aim to assert their dominance against a seasoned and skilled veteran squad, the Pittsburgh Penguins. On the opposing end, the Pittsburgh Penguins took a different route, initiating the season with a slow start. However, their seasoned roster has progressively found synergy, propelling them into a red-hot streak of late. A triumph against the reigning Stanley Cup champions could serve as a a pivotal moment, rekindling hope for a successful 2023-2024 campaign. The Golden Knights, despite a 2-3-1 record in their last six games, continue to make history, replicating their franchise best performance from the previous season. Currently standing at an impressive 13-3-2, their road prowess shines with a 5-2-1 record. The team's overall strength is underscored by a remarkable plus-20 goal differential, reaffirming their status as a frontrunner in the NHL. Key contributors, including including Mark Stone, William Carlson, and Jack Eichel, have propelled the Golden Knights, with six players reaching double digits. The goaltending duo of Adden Hill and Logan Thompson adds to the team's invincibility, boasting a combined 2.24 goals against average and a stellar .924 save percentage. Despite a recent setback in Philadelphia, where Chandler Stephenson faced ejection and Jonathan Marchessault's stellar performance couldn't secure a win, the Golden Knights remain a force to be reckoned with. Meanwhile, the Penguins orchestrated a summer blockbuster by acquiring Eric Carlson, signaling a determined push for another Stanley Cup. Despite a slow start, their recent 5-2-0 record has propelled them to 8-8-0 for the season. Positioned at 7th place in the Metropolitan Division, the playoffs are within reach, although their home record stands at 3-5-0. Sidney Crosby continues to lead with 22 points in 16 games, supported by a cotter of players posting impressive offensive numbers. Goaltending has seen improvement, boasting a 2.88 goals against average and a .912 save percentage. In a clash of differing momentum, both teams showcase an undeniable talent pool. Superstars at every level fuel the competitiveness of two battle-hardened teams with a shared history of capturing the Stanley Cup. While the Penguins have dominated recent head-to-head -head meetings, the Golden Knights' 8-2 record in the past 10 matchups as favorites adds intrigue. With a 5-2-1 record on the road, the Golden Knights aim to make a resounding statement in this encounter, so the Vegas Golden Knights' money line is our full-game side pick. The goaltending duel presents an opportunity for a compelling narrative, but the history of these encounters suggests a propensity for offensive fireworks. The over has been a consistent trend in their past five overall head-to-head -head meetings. The Golden Knights away games have contributed to a 5-2 over record in their last seven, while the Penguins, with 29 goals in their recent seven games, set the stage for a high-scoring affair. Expect a goal-filled spectacle. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Buffalo Sabres vs. Chicago Blackhawks In this highly anticipated interconference clash, the Buffalo Sabres and the Chicago Blackhawks are set to face off in a fierce battle for two crucial points in the Windy City. The Buffalo Sabres, coming off a narrow 3-2 defeat at the hands of the Winnipeg Jets on the road in their previous matchup, are now on a mission to snap a three-game losing streak. Meanwhile, the Chicago Blackhawks, who faced a tough 4-2 loss against the Tampa Bay Lightning in their most recent contest, are also looking to bounce back from a three-game skid. As the Sabres hit the road,
road to take on the Blackhawks on Sunday night, the stakes are high for both teams seeking redemption. Chicago, having engaged in a Central Division showdown with the Nashville Predators on the road the day before, faces the challenge of a back-to-back -back set, culminating in the clash against Buffalo. In their last 10 meetings, the Blackhawks have asserted dominance with a 6-2-2 record, including a thrilling 4-3 overtime victory at home in the most recent encounter on January 17, 2023. Buffalo's offensive prowess, led by Jeff Skinner's seven goals and Casey Middlestadt's 10 assists, faces a significant hurdle with the absence of Tage Thompson. The Sabres, averaging 2.82 goals per game, now aim to overcome their offensive struggles and secure a much-needed victory. Defensively, they are allowing 3.24 goals per game, with goaltender Devin Levy facing 201 shots and Ucko Pekalukonen contending with 220 shots. Similarly, the Chicago Blackhawks, paced by Connor Bedard's nine goals and Seth Jones' seven assists, confront the challenge of regaining their scoring touch. With a defensive average of 3.5 goals per game. Chicago's goaltenders Petter M. Razik and Arvid Soderblom face the task of shutting down Buffalo's offensive efforts. Despite Buffalo's statistical advantage on paper, the teams find themselves in a similar predicament, struggling to string together wins and mired in three-game losing streaks. Chicago's home record against the Sabres, 4-1 in their last five matchups, underscores their ability to capitalize on home ice advantage. The absence of Thompson from the Sabres lineup could further hinder their offensive output Output, potentially tipping the scales in favor of the Blackhawks. So the Chicago Blackhawks' money line is our full game side pick. Buffalo's recent trend of underscoring, hosting an 11-5-1 mark on the season, aligns with the 4-3-1 mark in their eight road games. Meanwhile, Chicago has seen the under post an 8-6 mark in their 14 games this season, with a slight dip to 3-2 on home ice. In conclusion, the absence of Tage Thompson amplifies Buffalo's offensive struggles, setting the stage for a potentially low scoring showdown. Considering the offensive woes plaguing both teams and Chicago's fatigue factor, anticipate a game where scoring opportunities are at a premium. With both teams grappling with offensive challenges and Chicago fatigue from back-to-back -back games, the expectation is for a tightly contested, low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. St. Louis Blues vs. Anaheim Ducks The impending matchup between the St. Louis Blues and the Anaheim Ducks at the Honda Center on Sunday, November 19th is eagerly awaited as a potentially captivating clash. This game brings together two closely ranked teams in their respective divisions, promising a showdown of strategic skill and competitive fervor. The Blues, currently holding the fifth position in the Central Division with an 8-6-1 record, are coming off a challenging 5-1 road loss against the San Jose Sharks. In contrast, the Ducks, occupying the fourth spot in the Pacific Division with a 9-8-0 record, are on a two-game losing streak following a 2-1 home loss against the Florida Panthers. The St. Louis Blues have undeniably been a team to watch this season, as their 8-6-1 record places them in fifth position in the highly competitive Central Division. Recent games have showcased a mixed bag of results for the Blues. On one hand, they secured an impressive 5-0 victory against the Tampa Bay Lightning, demonstrating their offensive prowess. However, their most recent encounter counter with the San Jose Sharks concluded in a 5-1 road loss, emphasizing the imperative need for defensive improvements. A closer examination of their statistics reveals that the Blues have netted a total of 42 goals, ranking them 28th in the league for goals scored. Paradoxically, their defense has proven to be formidable, securing the fifth spot by allowing only 40 goals against. This robust defensive presence owes much to Jordan Bennington's stellar goaltending performance, boasting a remarkable 2.24 goals against average and an impressive .930 save percentage. In terms of special teams, the Blues have encountered challenges on the power play, ranking 32nd in the league with a 7% success rate. Conversely, their penalty kill sits at 20th, operating at 76.9%, and discipline remains a concern with 97 penalty minutes. The key player to watch for the Blues is center Robert Thomas, leading the team in both assists with 11 and points with 17. Additionally, Jordan Bennington's goaltending prowess is expected to play a crucial role in their quest for success. As they prepare for the upcoming game against the Ducks, finding a balance between offensive and defensive efforts is imperative. Improving the power play and addressing 
pressing discipline issues will be pivotal for the Blues to secure a victory. The Anaheim Ducks, positioned fourth in the Pacific Division with a 9-8-0 record, have displayed resilience throughout the season. Recent outings have witnessed a roller coaster of results for the Ducks, including a hard-fought 3-2 victory against the Nashville Predators and a closely contested 2-1 loss to the Florida Panthers. Analyzing their statistics, the Ducks have netted 50 goals, placing them 17th in the league for goals scored. Defensively, they've allowed 53 goals, ranking 20th in the league. Goaltender John Gibson has been a standout performer with a stellar 2.18 goals against average and a .929 save percentage, although a shutout has eluded him thus far. Special teams play a crucial role in the Ducks' strategy, with their power play ranked 16th at 20.3% and a solid penalty kill at 81.6%. However, discipline has been a major concern, resulting in 241 penalty minutes. Right-winger Frank Vetrano has emerged as a key player for the Ducks, leading the team with 12 goals and 17 points. Centers Mason McTavish and Ryan Strom have also contributed significantly to the team's success. For the upcoming game against the Blues, the Ducks must maintain their focus on strong defensive play and address discipline issues. They will heavily rely on the scoring prowess of Vetrano and the reliable goaltending of John Gibson to secure a victory. The Blues' weaknesses on the power play, ranked 32nd in the league, present an opportunity for the Ducks to capitalize and potentially secure crucial penalty kills. Additionally, the Ducks' discipline issues need improvement, but if they can maintain their recent defensive form, they have a good chance of stifling the Blues' offensive efforts. Frank Vetrano's scoring prowess and the overall team effort will be pivotal for the Ducks in securing the win. In a closely contested game, the Ducks' ability to maintain composure and rely on their defensive strengths could tip the scales in their favor. The Blues find themselves in a challenging position, having faced one of the most dangerous offensive teams in the league on Saturday. The decision to start Jordan Bennington on the second day of a back-to-back -back set could swing the game either way. However, if Joel Hofer gets the nod, the Ducks are favored to win straight up. Anaheim has emerged is one of the pleasant surprises of the season, with John Gibson's stellar performance in goal standing out. Another strong showing is anticipated when he faces off against the Blues' shaky offense. Despite the need for offensive improvement, keeping the Blues at bay defensively would give the Ducks a chance down the stretch. So the Anaheim Ducks' money line is our full game side pick. Delving into St. Louis' defensive capabilities, their ranking as the fifth best in goals against, anchored by Bennington's impressive goalkeeping stats, suggests a formidable challenge for any opposing scorers. This defensive strength, coupled with the Blues' struggles on the power play, hints at a game where goals might be hard to come by. On the other side, Anaheim's high penalty minutes could disrupt their offensive flow, further limiting scoring opportunities. Both St. Louis and Anaheim find themselves grappling with scoring challenges, making a high-scoring of fair unlikely. Even if the Blues opt for Joel Hofer in the net, taking the under on the total seems prudent, expecting a solid defensive performance from both teams. As mentioned earlier, John Gibson has impressively conceded two or fewer goals in six consecutive starts. Four of the Ducks' last six contests have seen five or fewer goals on the scoreboard, with Anaheim scoring only 14 goals in that stretch. Given these factors, the Blues' defensive solidity, their struggles on the power play, and the Ducks' discipline issues, a lower-scoring game is anticipated Considering the defensive prowess of the St. Louis Blues and the fluctuating offensive form of the Anaheim Ducks, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.